Hello everyone, this is Makator and welcome to a introduction to Mounted Blade Warband modding. So in this video I'll be going over the simple and the basic things to get your uh, to get the module system set up so you can actually directly edit uh, source codes in Mounted Blade Warband. So first of all what you need to do is obviously have the copy of Mounted Blade Warband. Basic and simple. So what we're going to do is by starting out, you will need to download Python. Python 2.7 preferably, and I'll be giving all the links in the description below as well, but on the screen as well. I use Python 2.7. Uh, I don't know if any, but any others work. I do know there's issues with newer releases than 2.7. I will be posting these links in the description below, so make sure to check that out. Uh, so I use 2.7, that's, that's what works for me, that's what works for everyone else. I haven't seen anybody else use anything different, and I've been modding for over 8, 9, or 10 years, whatever it's been, and I have no issues. So if you're in Windows, just do the Windows 86 uh, MSI installer or 8664. I use the 86, whatever works best for you. And once that is downloaded, obviously install and all that stuff, I've already done this. It's basic uh, installing a program. So what you're going to do next, after the download of Python, you'll be going to your My Computer, get that on the screen over here, and you'll be adding a line in, in, in your environmental variables. All right, so what this is, you go into your system settings. You'll be going into uh, advanced system settings over here and environmental variables down here. And you want to scroll down until you see the path under the OS. You'll click that, you'll click edit. So, these lines, you'll be right here. This It really depends what your last line is. I've added a lot of stuff after Python. So go to your last line, which would be, uh, doesn't, it'll be different on your end. I have a lot of different programs installed. Just go to your last line and click New. What we'll do, you, what we'll do is add this C Python line, which should show up like this. And uh, I'll link that, uh, I'll add it in the description below as well. So basically, your last line should be C, oh, basically this line. And once it works, click OK, OK, and all that good stuff. All right. So now that Python is set up, we'll need a native module system. All right. So what you want to do is go here to other downloads, module system. You click on the module system. We'll bring you right to a file. Ah, this takes a little bit. Go and save your desktop or downloads, wherever works best for you guys. And we'll unzip it. Extract all. Extract. You can use WinZip or 7-Zip, whatever works best. 7-Zip because it's very simple to use. All right, so we'll take this folder. Delete that. Don't need it. And now this is the module data. We don't really need that for now. We'll just take the module system. We'll take that, cut it out just for easier use. And we'll rename this to... Let's do test mod version one. You can do whatever you want, whatever your mod name is going to be. All right, this is it. All right, assuming you set up your Python uh, line code correctly in environmental variables, all you got to do now is go into mod, search for module info. What this does in module info is direct, is direct your uh, uh, compiler to your mod. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into modules, create uh, take native, because it's a bare bones model. We'll take native, copy and paste it, because we're creating a new mod to test it on. So we'll take about a couple of seconds. Assuming you've already done this in creating your own mod, but we'll just do a native copies for the sake because you downloaded the native module system to work on. All right, once it's done, we'll rename it to test mod v1, whatever, it doesn't matter what it's going to be. So I take this line up here, copy it, go back in here, and what you know, inside the brackets, we'll simply paste it. But after you pasted it, turn around the brackets so they're facing the other way. If you do it, the, if you do it like if you copy and paste it, it'll, it'll not work. So now we have whatever, wherever your mounted blade warbed is installed. All of these should be turned around, make sure they're all. So mod test one, and we'll go ahead and save this. All right, so now this has directed the compiler to save in mod test v1. 
So we'll go into mod test in your module system. We'll do on top build module dot that. Boom. Now uh, everything works. If it doesn't work, you'll get a bunch of script errors, which I'll show you uh, in a second here. So all this is all done. Script processing has ended and we're done. All right, basic introduction to modding. If you guys want more of these videos, let me know. Uh, one final thing, you guys will notice that I'm using Notepad++. Uh, just go to notepadplus.com. Very awesome tool to work with, Notepad++. I recommend this really highly instead of something else. You can have a whole ton of things open at once up here. And one final thing for Notepad++, what I do is go up here into settings, style configurator. And I have this Zen burn that I use. It's really, it's pretty sweet. It changes your, once you code for a while in Python, you'll notice that these codes can get hurt your eyes or you look at these for a couple hours. And this just, it's awesome. It's a really good configurator. So if you want that, I'll link that in the description below as well on how to add it. And that should about do it. Um, I might have some more tutorials, uh, what all, the, all this stuff actually means, if you're interested in changing items, troops, or whatever else. So thank you guys for watching, and uh, join me next time for more Mountain Blade Warband.